Hey guys, Darren at Supernova Comic Con and Gaming in Perth. This man needs very little introduction, Mr. David Ramsey. How are you? I'm well, man. This yeah. has been great. And how is Australia going for you at the moment? Australia's been been terrific, really. This is our second um, place on this Australian tour. We did Sydney last week. Yeah. And now here in Perth. Perth is laid back. Sydney, I mean, Sydney's great too. They're both fantastic <laughs> cities. But Perth is kind of relaxed. It's kind of chill. Yeah, we're pretty crazy. Like, like um, Supernova is a big deal for Perth yeah. because we don't get much of this sort of thing. So. I think it's when all you guys come over and visit us, it's sort of like a deer in headlight scenario where it's like, oh, they're here and we get to meet them and say hello. But everyone's been really terrific. Yeah, and we have had a really great turnout. So, like, Better than I thought. The people um, at the start of today, I was really, really amazed with how many people turned out yeah, this morning. So was I. So you've been a part of the Belaniverse on the CW since the beginning. Since the very beginning. Um, when it was basically a single show and then right. everything's expanded. So. Um, How's, that, how's the experience been for you, considering Arrow's wrapping up next year, or this year? Um, we have been really inexplicably fortunate, and that really is the truth. I mean, like you said, Arrow started it all, and um, obviously, as you mentioned, the Berlantiverse began with Arrow. But dare I say, many of the shows, yeah. even outside of the Berlantiverse, Gotham didn't exist, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't exist. Yeah. Um, you guys really set the trend. Really, I think so. Yeah. I mean, you can go even further with Daredevil and the other shows that appeared um, on Marvel, on television at least. Um, so I, I think I think Arrow really kind of set that trend. And um, but no one saw this coming. No. I mean, this no one could have called this. So I mean, we we were doing the show just hoping not to suck. Yeah. Really. Like, oh, just, for you sure. know what I mean? Just, <laughs> just hoping it'll be. I mean, I mean, really, it's it's, it's tough to see it now, yeah. but. Green Arrow really in 2012 was really a a um, a B character. Yeah. What, he wasn't the A character in the yeah. in the DC universe. It was Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Yeah. You know, so Green Arrow was. I would even say Green Lantern was above Green Arrow at the time. Yeah. But now, you know, you can't think of a, a DC on television without thinking of Green Arrow. Oh, for sure, definitely so, set the path. It set the path for sure. So I'm um, no, we're happy about it. And then obviously, once the CW shows grew and Supergirl and all them. Yeah. Legend of, Legend of Tomorrow, yeah. and then he started doing these insane crossovers with the Flash as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that, like, how did that work for you? Like, you, you're on your own show, you're on Arrow, and then all these other shows starting, and then they go, "We're going to do this big crossover thing with the four shows." Yeah. How did the experience go? Did just the sets get bigger and everything got bigger? And... Logistic madness. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, right, because you're trying to make all these schedules work, and um, the first time we tried it with the first crossover, it was it was pretty maddening, and it just got better and better. And now we're going into our eighth season. This crossover is going to be five shows, more than any yeah. other cross crossover we've done, bigger than any other crossover. So it's probably going to take you three months to shoot it? I think about three and a half. <laughs> um, and then obviously John Diggle's had quite the character arc over, yeah. the, over the series. You've done a, basically a bit of everything. Is there anything that you want Diggle to have towards the end, or is there anything you see that hasn't happened for Diggle yet? Well, I think we have to answer the question of what happens with this Green Lantern mythos. I think we have to just make a decision yeah. about that. We've teased it now for years, yeah. really. And um, so I think we have to make a decision about that. And, and I think this season we will. Yeah, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the series wraps up. So am I. You, do you know? Uh, yeah, only pieces. And pieces. usually what's funny is that usually at the beginning of each season, we really do have an idea of where they want to go in terms of an arc. Yeah. We have very little idea because they can do whatever they want this season. Yeah. Ten shows, and every, every single episode is important. Oh, I'm yeah. really excited to see it. And then, obviously, you've done some other work as well. Yeah. Um, you did some minor roles in, like, Nutty Professor and yeah. Con Air and all that. Yeah. Um, I, I, I obviously, on, and on Dexter, you're on Dexter as well. Yeah. Um, did those earlier opportunities sort of help you in a way to, to get into Arrow? Well, it, it actually did. One of those opportunities um, really opened the door for Arrow. I was doing a show called Blue Bloods. It's still yeah. on the air with Tom Selleck and Donnie Wahlberg. Yeah. Good show. And um, I was playing the mayor of New York on that show. And Greg Berlanti and his father watched that show every Friday. Yeah. Just who knew, right? <laughs> and for whatever reason, they, Greg saw that show and said, that's Diggle. So they called me in and said, you know, you really don't have much to do in the pilot. But this guy um, becomes Arrow's right-hand man and becomes very integral to the story. Yeah. And that's where it started. So it, it, Blue Bloods was a was a direct link to um, to Arrow. Well, obviously, we, I know you're a bit of a love of all martial arts. Yeah. Um, how did, 
did the love of art, martial arts come first or the acting? Well, I, I, well, it was acting because I, I fell in love with acting around 14 and I really fell into martial arts uh, probably around 20, uh, 19 or 20 years old. So it was, it was um, acting first. But martial arts is, is interesting enough because the, the choreographer, fight choreographer on the show um, studied the same art yeah. that I studied. So it was good when he and I first met each other. It was a, kind of a meeting of the minds. And um, so he really let me show off a lot on the show. So you actually got to help choreograph yeah, really, some stuff? And it, and it was interesting too because it, he, had a, he had a very clear idea of what Arrow was. Yeah. Arrow was very balletic and elliptical and, and, and in terms of his movements. And um, Diggle is a, is a U.S. serviceman. Yeah. So it was very straightforward. So we really had a, a real clear idea of how we wanted yeah. Diggle to look. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm going to let you go because yeah. you're going to go to a panel, but I'm really excited to see how the final season goes. So am I. And I hope to see you in more shows in the future. Thanks a lot for that. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.